Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a multi-character extruder by me. So let's get into it. Sino Sino was here in the cross of desert and the forest. Everybody feared him. And for good reasons too. He was ruthless. And even though he had been close and even dating, you knew that as a fact. But it never scared you. Because you never thought he would do anything to you. But apparently, that one argument you had, when you were in a tavern, about him being so ruthless and stubborn, it didn't go over so well with him. He didn't like it. And the two of you began to fight, spouting back words at one another, and him being more angry, and telling you how you have no right to speak to him like that. And apparently, your response was not very much liked by him, because he told him he was being stupid, adhering too much to his own principles to look around him. And that's the moment when Santa first raised his hand at you, to hurt you, and in front of everyone too. That alone, it hurt to another degree you couldn't even tell. It hurt you so much. Because he was doing it, and it seemed like it was done without any care. You could only flinch, staring at him in surprise. You were really shocked. Was he truly your Sino? Was he doing this? He eventually stopped, managing to stop himself at the last moment, and telling you to just leave him and go away. Day doesn't want to be with you right now, and you will leave. But apparently... That might just be the last meeting the two of you ever have. Kaza! Kaza was very fond of his Dutch friend. And it was to a degree that you didn't like. It didn't go over so well with you. You thought, as dumb as it was, that his dead friend was stealing him away from you. Yeah, a little bit stupid. But the way he talked about him. The way he looked. When he would say how his friend was so kind. And all those things that you didn't even know about. It hurts you so much. To a level you couldn't even describe. And apparently telling him about it was a bad idea. Because he thought you were overreacting. And no matter how many times you tried to tell him how your feelings are true. He didn't believe you. So when you yelled at him. It wouldn't to leave him. He raised his hand to hurt you. And you flinched away, stopping him and pushing him away from you. Rolling up, it was only at that moment that he realized that he had friends over. One who was holding him back, asking him just what in the hell he was doing. The two of you stared at one another for a few moments, before you quickly left, running away, not wanting to see him again after what he did. And that one moment... Kaza just realized how much of a grave mistake he had made. Albedo. Well, that's what curiosity does to a person. Curiosity did kill the cat. But, this time, satisfaction was not going to bring it back. You were staring at Albedo, his eyes glowing an unfamiliar glow, and you could tell that something was very wrong with him. No matter how many times you screamed his name, Telling him to just snap out of it, he wasn't listening. And he was walking closer and closer to you. And as much as he wanted to run away, you felt like your feet were frozen in place. As you watched your lover just look at you in a horrible way that scared you to death. And then, he slapped you. And you could only stare in horror as he just shook you roughly. Telling you how you were so stupid to believe in him. Do you really think he wasn't using you all along? He had no idea what in the hell he was talking about. But he couldn't be serious. No hacking way. And no matter how many times he tried to talk to him, he only seemed to get more violent. And he had to run away. You asked the traveler to help him. Because there was no way you can. But you knew it. There's no way Albedo was doing this to you. It wasn't him. There was something wrong with him. And he wished from all of your heart that he would be okay. 
Venti? Venti seemed to be in a dreamlike sort of state. So, it was kind of hilarious, to be honest. He was just standing there and making a joke. And his hands are swaying around. And it just so happened that he slapped you in front of everyone. And then when they realized it was you, you started giggling. He was drunk as hell. And everyone started laughing at you. You were honestly embarrassed. But then he hugged you. Apologizing and telling you that you won't do this again. Obviously, you had no idea what you really even did. So he just sat softly, kissing his forehead and telling him how stupid he was. He just laughed, telling you that one of you had to be smart, so he could be the stupid one. Whatever you say, Venti. But he was not going to get away from tomorrow's yelling. Skaramouche. This was kind of around the time the two of you first met. It was quite hardness, if I say so myself. And, to say the least, it was getting quite tense in the room. No matter how many times you tried to tell him that you didn't do anything wrong, that you weren't related to any of those organizations he was listing, he didn't believe you. And he kept telling it to you. The guards standing around you. You were terrified of what he was going to do. And no matter how many times he tried to beg, he didn't listen. Until one time, he seemed to apparently get sick of your voice, slapping you in front of everyone and causing you to cry. And so the first month passed like this, and it was soon realized you were a traitor to Snejnaya. He eventually let you go. But a part of him, no matter how many times he tried to conceal those emotions in him, felt guilty. So he went and apologized, giving you flowers, and telling you that he was extremely sorry for ever causing this, and that he didn't want to cause you pain. He was only doing his best to protect the nation, and was asked of him. You listened to him, believing him completely, and accepting his apology, which, to be honest, was sincere. He didn't lie about anything he said. It was all true. But to be honest, he couldn't care less about Tanejnaya. He only cared about his goals. And if cooperating with that Saritza for now will help him reach them, then that he would be okay with.